Hey guys, um, excuse the hair, don't know what I'm doing with it yet, I just filmed a tutorial and I just like flopped it back so I can put my makeup on, um, so excuse the hair. But, today I'm going to show you, or I guess show you my, um, summer favorite. So obviously I'm really fair, um, my skin, and I'm not tan, it's, I can't, my body just doesn't take color well, it just burns, it doesn't tan, um, I'm prone to skin cancer, I've had cancerous moles removed. I just don't like to run the risk, but I do like to have like healthy looking skin. So what I use is Avon Skin So Soft Satin Glow Ultimate Body Moisturizing Lotion in SPF of 15. This is my favorite stuff. Um, it's for fair to medium skin tones. I think they have one for dark skin tones, medium to dark skin tones, but this is really nice because it's a gradual tanner. Um, it's like Jerkin's Natural Glow. It's just really gradual and it doesn't um, like make you instantly bronze in like five minutes it's just like day to day your skin starts looking like really glowy it has like a hint of a tan but it's just like it makes your skin just like really literally just look like it's glowing next i guess we're gonna go on into face in the summer i don't like to wear a lot of foundation except when i'm going out um obviously this is what i do for the summer if i'm trying to go all out and but typically i do not do not care. basically um i like to use a tinted moisturizer just to give me some coverage and to protect my skin and moisturize my skin so i use sonia kushik um radiant tinted moisturizer it has an spf 15 this is in the color fair you can get this um at target it's 13 bucks i think it's 12.99 but Next um, foundation I've been reaching for is Revlon Photo Ready Makeup um, in the color Ivory. This has an SPF of 20, so that's nice. Um, it's a pump applicator, and actually I really like this stuff. It's I always try to find a good bronzer, and I successively, successively, successfully found one. Um, I use the Elf, which is really surprising because it's a cheap one. Elf um, bronzer in the color Golden golden no you can't even see that i like the packaging it's a lot like nars um it's not that cheap black packaging it's actually pretty sturdy black packaging which is like nars so that's kind of why i like it um it kind of gives that sleek look it looks just not as cheap as it, the it's a studio studio line so it's three dollars instead of a dollar but that's still super cheap um it has a big mirror big mirror and then um there is the bronzer. It's shimmery, like it's super shimmery, but and it's not the shimmer. It's picking up on the camera. Let's see if I can. Yeah, it's not picking up. Anyway, um, four different colors. I swirl my brush in the middle. It works really well. I get I got this at Target. Um, my Target sells eye lips and face. Um, if not, go online to eyeslipsandface.com and you should be able to find it in their studio. Um tab studio line tab lately i've been using bad gal benefit lash for mascara um i really like it because i like the size of the bottle it's really easy it's a little it's not the big one this is the one you can buy at sephora where it's like you go through the area to go to the counter and it has like all those little boxes where you can pick things up I mainly get me so bad i'm just like ready to go i'm like i'm not gonna spend a lot of money and then i like pass these things I'm like oh 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 yeah my forty dollars goes like eighty five dollars when i go past that thing anyway um, the thing has a huge brush, which is kind of nice. I don't really like this mascara super well. I mean, I don't hate it. I obviously wear it. But it's just, I don't know, it isn't really... Yeah. Yeah. It's alright. Okay, lip colors, I guess, that I've been reaching for lately are my, um, these are the two. If I have an eye, like, eye makeup on, it's typically, or th there's three. Eye makeup on, it's typically Marc Gems Gems in the color Honeydew. It's a really nude color with like almost red speckles in it. If I'm going for like a stain, if I want to look like old Hollywood glamour, I go for CoverGirl Outlast um, Lip Stain. There we go. And it's in the number 430. I really like this one. This one's like an, like an orangey red. It's a really good summer red to me. Um... I really really like these and then if I'm going if I just kind of want to go for more of a bronzy feel I go for my Glazeware Shine Lip Gloss by Avon it's in the color Sand Glow it's a, just a brown color which I never thought would be pretty but it is it actually is really pretty on because it's not like super brown it just gives that like hint um, 
Anyway, I really like this stuff too. Blah. Nails. Um, I wear a lot of dark colors still in the summer for nails, which is really not good and kind of taboo, but I would, would do it anyway. Um, the color I've been reaching for lately is my Sunu Kushak. Um, it's the color Purple Rain. It's this really pretty... It's lighter in person. It looks darker on the camera, but um, it's a really pretty kind of matte purple color. I don't really know how to describe it. It's really pretty. I like this color a lot. This is what color my room used to be. Perfume body sprays. Um, I am a very scent-oriented person. That just basically means that I remember people by their their smells. Um, I'm very, very keen on scents. I smell like every note in a perfume or a cologne or something. I'm like sm I have a very, very good sense of smell. And so, um, I don't like to buy big bottles of perfume that cost me $85 because I get sick of them in a week. Because I just, I smell them so much and so well that it just gets really annoying. So I like to buy smaller bottles of perfume, um, that way. If I get sick of them, it's not that big of a deal. Or I can just, like, switch off from them and I'm not wasting a lot of money. So, um, I don't really like to buy big bottles, but I think the best thing in the summer... Um, is buying a smaller bottle or buying the roll-ons. Um, this is Viva La Juicy roll-on. They sell these at Sephora. Just basically what a roll-on is, is just perfume with a little roller. And you, you roll it on your wrists or your neck, wherever you want to roll it. And the reason that I like this stuff is because it doesn't overpower. It's not where you can spray six times. It's really hard to really overdo it, but it gives you the en enough perfume. Um, it smells, I love Viva La Juicy. It's just such a fruity, nice scent. Ugh. Anyway, this is the perfect summer scent to me. Um, it's very girly, but I don't like JC Couture perfume, but um, this is the only one I like. They sell all different smells. Um, they have DKYB Delicious, Ralph Lauren, everything. So, um, go check them out. They're really cheap. This is like 19 bucks at Sephora, and it travels obviously really well. It's so easy to throw in your bag, and I really, really like that they do this. Um, plus, if you want, you don't know if you really want to commit to a smell or a scent quite yet, and you just kind of want to test it out, that's, real, that's a good option to do. Next, um, I wash my hair every other day, because my hair is really, really dry, and if I wash it every day, it's like the brittlest, grossest thing. So if I wash it every other day, um, on the off days, I feel like my hair is just nasty, does not smell good, I hate it, hate that it does that. So, um... I want it to smell better. So what I like to do is use pink sugar hair perfume. Um, I mean, kind of like with your boyfriend if he like kisses your head, or my boyfriend kisses my head a lot, and if we're just like watching movie or something, and I'm like, oh, my hair smells bad. Like, I, I get self-conscious, so I don't want to do that. Um, so I like to use my pink sugar hair perfume. This stuff smells just like sugar would smell. Like, if you would imagine what a sugar would smell in a liquid form, this is it. It smells so good. It's only like 12 bucks at Sephora. And the good thing about it is you can still wear perfume with it. It doesn't like overpower anything. It kind of like blends in with your perfume. Last but not least, I'm going to talk to you about books because I've been reading a lot. Um, I read a lot, a lot in the summer. So um, I'll tell you the books that I'm reading. I try to read one novel and one Christian book. And right now my Christian book is Crazy Love by Frances Kahn. This is probably the best Christian book I've ever read. I honestly encourage you to read this book. It's insanely good. Um, it really challenges you. And it gives you ideas that you never would have thought about. So I really, 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 really recommend this book. It's $14.99 at um, Borders. I don't know if they sell it at Half Price Books. I don't ever go there. So next, the um, book I'm reading is House of Night Marked, the very first one. I hear a lot about these books, Juicy Sorrow 7 and All That Glitters reads them and I really just kind of wanted to see what all the hype's about, so we'll see. I'm going to try these out. I don't know yet. If you have any books, recommend them to me because I love reading and I like to find out books. So thank you guys so much for the day. The day. Thank you so much for watching the video and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.